Hi, welcome to the Daily Insight for Monday, November 6th. I pulled two cards for love, two cards for career and finance, and I will follow up with a Romance Angel card. The first card we have for love is the Page of Pentacles, followed by the Four of Wands. <clears throat> so there is a group of you, it could be one, two, but there is somebody out there, this is meant to hear this, you're you're putting on an event, a celebration of some kind. And what this is, this is dealing uh, more like with family. So this could be, um, it could be a child's wedding. It could be your wedding. It could be a quinceanera. It could be a uh, bar mitzvah. It could be anything. Now, it's not a holiday celebration. The people attending this particular event is family, friends, and co-workers, people that we work with. So um, it could be a celebration, uh, promotion party, something like that. And what I'm seeing is this is a person who has um, accumulated wealth and they have money. You're running low on funds. This person is going to come in and offer to help you. They are literally going to say, hey, let me pick up the tab for this part of your celebration. Now, if you hear the snoring, that's my dog. <laughs> um, and now um, I bore him. Um, for those of you in a current relationship right now, your partner what I'm seeing for a group of you, your partner actually has been saving up money that you are not aware of and your partner wants to give a celebration in honor of you being a couple. So this could be a uh, getting married again, this could be an anniversary party, this could be just a special something something party but your partner is going to surprise you with this. So some of you may fall under that. Now, you may not know this for a while, but this is what I'm seeing, okay? Now, when it comes to romantic love, for those of you um, who are single, I'm seeing that you have an offer coming in. Now, this person coming in is a very stable uh, person. They have longevity in their career. They have longevity in their life. They've, they've really been working at creating a base foundation. So this person wants to, they want to celebrate with you. Okay, they're going to come in and make an offer. They want to take you on, um, not a trip, but they want to celebrate like they've been working really hard on building their foundation, building their future. They meet you, they really like you, and they want to share some of that with you and celebrate with you. So that's really quite lovely. Now for those of you, um, there's another group of you. This is, this is somebody you've been dealing with and you haven't spoke with them in a while. Um, they're coming forward and they want to they're going to give you an offer they want to move forward in the relationship with you now again you haven't spoken with them in a while so it may take you back a, a back a little bit um, but this person is a really, they may even apologize to you. This is the Page of Pentacles. So typically that's a, a more youthful energy. That doesn't mean that they have to be young. This can be somebody who's, uh, you know, 50, but they are very young at heart and they've been working really hard on trying to create a solid foundation to give you an offer. The reason that they step back from you is because they didn't feel they had enough to come forward and they're going to come forward and they're going to say they're sorry and they want to create a relationship with you now let's see how the romance angel ties in with this 
Okay, so codependency. All right, now this person may have been, um, are they saying drinking? They, they're actually saying drinking. So maybe they were dealing with somebody who had an, uh, a problem drinking and they have enabled them, but there may have been some codependency in this particular scenario, but I'm not seeing it now, okay? Um, now, when it comes to career and finance, and I will relate it to love, we have the Six of Cups and the Star card. So, yeah, going back to the person in the past, they're, they're, this is the person from the past. They are coming back. This is also represents as a, as the soulmate, okay? So this is a soulmate. This is a soulmate journey that I was talking about. Now I see how codependency could be a part of it because they were actually involved with somebody else where either they were drinking or had some type of something going on and one was an enabler, one was indulging in something, some type of a something. There was codependency there. When they took a step back, they not only were building their foundation up to come for you, but they were also healing. Okay, this is about healing. The star card's a beautiful card. It's about hope, it's about faith, healing but it's about wishes coming true. So for this group of you that this seems to resonate with, this person coming back from the past is your wish. This is like your dream finally coming true. They've healed, you've healed. Yeah. Now when it comes to career and finance, some of you have a person from the past coming back. Now, this can be a co-worker. This can be a company saying, um, we want you to come back. You could see an advertisement for a company you used to work with for a position that you qualify for and you are applying. It doesn't mean that it's a physical person, okay? It can also represent the company making that posting and you see it. But here's the thing, what I'm seeing for this group of you this is what you've been waiting for this is the job that you've been waiting for yeah and you're going to you want to apply for this position okay for those of you this is resonating with you see an advertisement for a company you used to work with or if you hear it from your friends you may hear about the opportunity from your friends this is the job you've been waiting for so make sure you apply for it so i do hope this helps you and you have a wonderful monday much love